Hello everybody and welcome back. Today's block is called Roundabout Block. This is it. Let's move this out of the way though and we will start with our pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. You will need Fabric A is one four and a half inch block. Fabric B is four four and a half inch blocks. We're just going to lay this out. This is how it's going to go. And then You'll also need one five and a quarter inch block. And fabric C is my black on this one. And it will be one five and a quarter inch block. I'm sorry, this one. One five and a quarter inch block and two five inch blocks. So those are exactly how they go. And as we go throughout this, I'm just going to use this and sew these up while we're as my enders, like a second project, so to speak. So first, we're going to take our two five inch blocks. And we're going to cut them into four pieces diagonally. So we're going to take this and we're just going to line it up corner to corner. And sew it or cut it right down there. Then we're just going to spin it and do the same thing. And I'm just going to go again. I think it's the board. I'm going to get a new one eventually. So now we're going to do these opposite. We need two going one way. So we'll have two sewn on this side. Well, yeah. Two will be sewn down this side and the other two will be sewn down this side. So when we open them up, they'll be opposite. Let me see. Yeah, so when we open it up, I just want to make sure I'm telling you right. They will be opposite. I don't want to move them too much. So this side, this side, this side, and this side. So let's go ahead over to the sewing machine and we'll do that. Just sew all four of them and then we'll grab those two of those middle blocks and sew them together. If you want to, you could have popped a pin in the sides of those to make sure you're doing the right one because you don't want to have to pull it out. It would be a pain, but I'm right next to it. If I had to carry them a long way or even across the room, I probably would have put a pin in the side I'm sewing. But again, I'm literally just reaching to my left. All right, and then I'm just gonna grab my middle row, the left piece and the middle piece, and I'm gonna sew down it. So we're just ahead of the game. All right, now we're gonna cut these off and iron them open, and we'll go to the next step. I'm gonna move these two. Actually, I'm gonna move them all. So we have this room to work. That's for a different project. And now we're just gonna iron these. I'm gonna iron them all to the black because it doesn't really matter. Well, get in there. And see how when we open those up they're different or yeah they're opposite just like that now we're going to move those up we're going to take our other two black pieces these were four and a half no five inch squares our two five inch squares and we're going to cut those in half Sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. Now we're going to take these and we are just going to match them up. And we're going to sew down because we're making quarter square triangles. 
I'm just going to put a pin in it. Again, I wouldn't have to. It is right next to me. But since they're a little more to line up, and obviously I know which side I'm sewing, but never take that for granted. Also, that's marker. If y'all were wondering, it's not a bruise. Looks a little like a bruise. I did it at work. I do that a lot. And last one. And I'm just lining up the points there as best I can. You're going to trim it off anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to head one over and sew those. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to grab that other piece off and sew my other middle piece to it. So again, we're ahead of the game. Let's just lay these down here and we'll start running our stitches through. Make sure my seam goes the right way under there. cut this off we're going to grab our other one I am just going to iron it open to the middle piece real quick no no I'm ironing it to the outside pieces to the black plaid all of our pieces are going to be ironed to the black pad, plaid in our rows so. All right, let's cut these off. Head back over. We're gonna iron them open to the black solid piece. And again, they will look opposite. You should have two of each. Let's move that out of the way and, <clears throat> excuse me, trim them down to four and a half. So you're going to start by, now this is a little hard for, for you guys to see, I guess, but we're going to line our diagonal up here and our four, I'm sorry, two and a quarter up right here. And then we're going to trim that off. And we're going to spin it around and we're going to line up the same stuff and also the four and a half inch corner down here. And then we'll trim these pieces off. And there we have one. Three more to go. Line up the two and a quarter inch point. I put the tape on there. That's probably the only part you can see. We're going to... I really like that tape. Um, I think I got it from Amazon, but I'm sure a lot of places sell it. Yeah, here we are. Four, two and a quarter. Might have to redo that one side. Yeah. 
let's spin it back around and line up our four and a half inch not four and a quarter four and a half and see how there's just a little bit there well you probably can't but trust me there is see it's just a hair all right next one line up the two and a quarter it is difficult to see with black and line up the two and a quarter and the four and a half and that will make the others just line right up if you've done it correctly and last one line up the two and a quarter and then the four and a half that's not where I was here's where I am. silly and it will line everything up for you if you get two of them right you got them all right if you've done it right I don't know if there's a way to clean this or not. Maybe that's why it's not working. So now we are going to put everything together. I'm going to get my other piece off of the sewing machine here. Give me just a minute. Just had to sew one of my other pieces down through there. We're going to iron this to the plaid. There's our middle piece. We will lay our other pieces out. So you have a cross. Now these are going to match up. So you're gonna lay one here. And one here, here, and here. So I guess it doesn't really matter, but your diagonal I don't know. It, I guess it doesn't matter. In the book, it has it laying like this. No, it doesn't. It has it laying like this. But it doesn't matter. Those are the same. Those are the same piece. Anyways, we are just going to sew it up. So as long as you have a point on the side of each of these blocks. So it forms a spinny wheel roundabout hence the name so we're going to head on over and sew this up i'm just gonna now i just have the top and the bottom rows to sew together i'm just gonna pull them over from there. We'll cut the first one off and grab our last piece of the top row. piece of the bottom row and you know the plaid's the middle piece so you just have to make sure you pull it over correctly from the other side or the pressing mat wherever you're pulling it from or pin it I do love my pins Get one of these on there. Let's head back over and iron them to the middle to the plaid piece. 
online. Now, you're going to know if you have it right because you can clearly see that's not right. So all you got to do is turn it around. And again, you make sure they all have a point coming out of them. Looks like a flower. So now you're just going to fold this down. And we're going to pin it. Make the seams. In the beginning and the end. Now we'll fold this up, fold this up, and I like to flip it because that's how I like to pin it. Both the seams. Make sure they nest. And then at the end, and I'm not going to pin the beginning of this one because I'm just going to hold it as I go over there. One step to the left or right. It's my right. All right. So now we're just going to sew right down. Keep adjusting if you have to. It's good to go slow. One more of these. And cut it off. get the other side. more in this pile. All right, now we're going to iron this to the middle because there's only the two seams there. See what it looks like. And there you go. There's the black version. And as promised, the measurements again are one four and a half inch block. <clears throat> excuse me. One. Well, this one it was five and a quarter inch block and four four and a half inch blocks, and then. I'm sorry, A, B, and then C, you're going to need one five and a quarter inch block and five, two, five inch blocks. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial. I hope you make the block and love it. And I will see y'all next time. Have a great day.